Yeah, deep in me. It's freezing out here. Minus seven degrees. So I thought I would come out and see what's happening in the van. Oh, deep in me. Right, let's have a look and see. The heating, as you can see, is set. So if we go there and have a look, you can see the priority is gas. You can see I've got it on two kilowatts, but gas is off. Priority is on electric. The temperature sensor choice is auto. And if I want to, I can boost that up a bit. I'll take it up to 20. It's 11.03, it's freezing out here. But, as you can no doubt see, it's plenty warm enough in here. The beautiful part about it is, is it's still thick as snow on the top. So, even though this has been running at around about 15 degrees, it's, uh, it's stayed nice and warm but it hasn't melted the snow on the top which says an awful lot about the um what do you call it the insulation the insulation insulation that's in the van so that's excellent i'm very pleased by that so i am uh, all good stuff by the way so you know i'm recording this on our uh, brand new never been used in anger before dji pocket three and i do quite like the way it works anyway there you go just thought I would do that to shove into a Vido coming to you real soon. In a bit, tra. Got something to play with. Come on, let's go into the van. After you. Mm. This has come from Germany, from camperboards.de is where it's come from and we found out about it on the uh, on the travel master group on the book of faciness as one does and what it is is really really well packed and in here we have it take the bits off not bad it's only taking it less than a fortnight to get here mm -hmm. I think right I'll move that box out the way because it's just getting in the road and over there and here it is been very good using my fingers instead of a knife out that and here it is look that is a chopping board on this side and it's even that's really rather impressive it's even got little notches to fit on the rubber things so that it won't come flying out when you go around corners, there you are. Look at that. What do you think of that, Joe? Nice and firm. It's not going anywhere, is it? That, you can go around corners with that and that makes it nice and flat mm -hmm. as well. So that's really useful in terms of well, have I got some sticky stuff on there, have I? You've spilt something. I've spilt something. Yes, well, it's me, isn't it? So there you go. That's uh, that's the new board. Let's have a, a turny over a bit on it. Put that way on. And it'll rest as well for doing choppery things. Mm-hmm.
That'll be all right, won't it? Yeah, that's great. It's not going to go flying around, is it? No, I wouldn't have thought so. What do you think, Kira? I'm not bothered. <laughs> There she goes. Should also point out for now that we're in here, we'll just move this out the road a bit. You can steer there for the moment. We've put these covers on. These are from, I can never get this, is it funny, fuzzy, or fuzzy, funny? One or the other. It's one or the other. No doubt there'll be something along here that says what it is. And, and these are. Um, mm. There it is, it's Funny Fuzzy. I shall extreme close up. Funny Fuzzy. And if, while well, you've got that, can you? It's got non slippy stuff. These, these are non slippies so that it will not slip. So it means that Madam Wonderfluff there has got somewhere comfort table for to sit. Now, one of the other things we've discovered as well is these steps, the wood on the steps is very slippy if she gets up there where there's another funny fuzzy for her to lie on and she wants to jump down. So we found these. They are Umbigum, which are carpet stair treads, 20 centimetres by 65 centimetres. And we're in the process of putting them down to make a tread so that when she gets off, she's got something to grip onto. The things we do for dogs, eh? Well, it's not just for her, it's something for me to grip onto as well. Well, there is that as well, mm. yes. Of course, one of the other things that we need to look at is the fire extinguisher. Every van should have one, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, placement of these is quite important, I think. It's no good having a fire extinguisher where there's no exit. It needs to be, in my view, right beside the exit that you will use to get out should something happen, which is more, or more than likely going to be the door, yes? Mm. Yes. So, I have identified, I think, that it'll fit down here. And I'm thinking, bearing in mind the bed goes down that, that side so it doesn't get in the way, it wants to be about there, I would think. So that's going to fasten on with two screws, which unfortunately didn't come with it. We'll just put it at the back there so it's out the way. When the door opens, it won't catch or anything like that. It'll be out the road and then that'll be it. We can do it. So that's going to get fitted in there. Um, this is the process of making the van your own, isn't it really? Definitely, yeah. Uh, the idea behind it is to make things so that we're comfortable with how it works. Um, I mean, that it sounds as though the van wasn't right when we got it, but that's not the case. It's very much a case of what we're trying to do is put our stamp on it and make it different from all the other 565s that's out there. Isn't that right, love? Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, Madam Wonderfluff here hasn't got a clue what's going on. Why are we in here? Why have I still got me leader on? Why aren't we going anywhere, Dad? Because I've got me travel harness on. Yeah. Can we start the van and get away somewhere, please? Because that's what I want to do. Can we go somewhere, please, Dad? Please, can we? Yeah. Yes, because the thing about it is, people, we're desperate to get away, aren't we? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. We're filming this on Tuesday. Um, we're still waiting for stuff to arrive. Mm -hmm. But the weather has been absolutely dire. And with the best will in the world, given that it'll be the first trip away for the three of us, we kind of want to have everything in place. Well, as much as we, we possibly can. And... Yeah, we're waiting for, some people might think, well, why didn't you order it before the van arrived and you would have had everything? We've done that before. We have. Ordered stuff that we thought would be right and it ended up not being. So this time we decided we would wait until we actually physically had the van at home 
and then we would make a decision that's right to whether what we'd thought would actually work so there's a couple of things we're still waiting for yes um but not much i will say i will say <laughs> the um the new gas cylinders come I'll, I'll show you this in more depth a little bit later on uh probably not in this video but we have a hybrid system it's a hybrid system that we've got in the van we have gas low refillable plus the flow gas gas light non refillable um, on a manual switch such that for most of the time we'll be using the flow gas we think but we'll also have the gas light of the, the uh, no the gas law is what we'll be using I'll get this right <laughs> Yeah. The refillable gas law is what we'll be using most of the time. The flow gas, gas light, is there as a backup, yeah. if you like. Uh, it might get used more. But what it does mean is that we've got the best of both worlds. And I'll do a separate video on putting that little lot together. And mm -hmm. um, that's how that one's going to work. If you're, a, if you're a Bob Earnshaw fan and watcher and follower and subscriber, you'll have seen Bob made reference to a gas detector uh, where he said just about every YouTuber will have one. Yes, we have. We've got one and we'll show you it being used when I do the install of the gas light cylinder into the, uh, the gas locker. Mm -hmm. the, the beauty I like about that is that it gets delivered. We didn't have to go and get it. You can order it on the web and they deliver it. And if you've got a bottle to go back, they'll pick the bottle up. Um, what they don't do, unfortunately, is tell you when it's coming until the date's coming. Mm. But never mind, we've got that. So there's some bits and bobs to do. Um, and we'll uh, we'll fill you in on that as we go along. But that's probably going to be it for today. We're going yeah. to keep it short, yep. is what we're going to do. And uh, we'll say thank you very much for watching. If you have been, if you've made it this far, good on you. Mm. Pour yourself a gin, give yourself a pat on the back, have a medal. And we'll see you on the next one. But until then, enjoy the roads. Enjoy the skies. But most of all, enjoy, enjoy your lives. Because life rocks when you live in room rules. See you next time. Ta-ra. Bye. Bye.